Hello, welcome to another weekly vlog. Um, this is weekly vlog number eight, I believe. It's actually not Monday morning, um, it's Monday afternoon. Um, as I said last week, I've been having to be at work by eight o'clock and I'm just not, I'm not awake to say hello. So um, I finished work at one and then I did some editing um, for a video that's going up on Friday. So you will have seen that Friday just gone and then just been um, relaxing really. So yeah, last night I went out for my cousin's birthday. Um, we went to TGI's and then went bowling. It was just a group of girls um, and it was amazing. I loved it and I want to do it every day. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice spending time with them. So it's actually six o'clock. The weekly vlog went up at five. Um, so yeah, I'm popping out now. I'm gonna get something for dinner and then I need to grab some deodorant as well from probably from Home Bargains or something. So. Yeah, anyway, so sorry it's a bit late today, um, but I didn't read you anything, it wasn't very exciting. Um, so yeah, well, I don't know what we've got planned for the rest of the evening, but come with us. Luella's having pizza for dinner. Hello, so we popped out to, where do we go? Home Bargains. Home Bargains, I've got some deodorant so I ran out. Because she smells. No, I don't smell. Our roses. <laughs> um, grabbed our dinner. Noisy. Yeah. We're having a delicious Caesar salad for dinner. We actually got one from Sainsbury's this time. Um, we've had it from there once before and it was good, so um, we got them. We got one from there today. Lulabar's having pizza as Chris showed you. She's currently in the bath, but she's about to get out. Coming. I'm coming. No, I'll get you a fresh towel. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to grab Lulu out the bath and then we're going to eat dinner. So Chris can show you what our little, our Caesar salad looks like. Our Caesar salad. I can't say that. Chris will show you what our Caesar salad will look like. On the Caesar. does look like. <laughs> Chris will show you what our Caesar salad looks like. Salad for dinner again. Hello. Lulu's had a bath. Mmm, just smells all fresh. Um, she's going out with her nana tomorrow and they're going to the like outside pool, paddling pool thing, aren't you? I figured that it would be easier for her if her hair was like just in Dutch braids. <laughs> so I'm going to um, braid her hair while she finishes off her chapter. Anyway, look at the camera, Lou. Isn't Lulabelle just so beautiful? I'm trying that. You're so pretty, I love you. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna brush her hair. Ah. Sorry. I got a new comb today. Can you work my hair? And it's so nice. Yeah, perfect for um, nice Party. neat partings. Ow, I want a fence with that so bad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> work now. <laughs> I'm still eating. It's alright then I should speak did I? Mrs. Uh, eating. Revels. Oh look at the bloody chewy ones. I hate those. Yeah. <laughs> Off to work. See you later. See you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> hello hello. Good evening. About quarter to 11 actually. Um, I had a really long bath 
um, I was in there for like at least half an hour. Um, I always have a bath and like catch up on like the YouTube videos that only I watch. So for example, um, you know, some of the weekly vlogs that Chris isn't interested in. I normally sit and watch them in the bath. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy doing that. Um, Chris has gone to work, he's on nights this week. Um, so I get the whole bed to myself, hence why I'm actually filming on his side of the bed. Um, because it's where the lamp is. Um, so yeah, I'm... I really, really don't want to moan and like be negative and things like that. But I'm really struggling. Obviously it's Monday and I uploaded the weekly vlog and like I always get really excited about it and I, you know, they take me a long time and you know, I, I put so much effort into them and I really enjoy doing them and I'm absolutely not doing them um, to get something in return, you know, but I just, it makes me sad to think that, you know, not many people comment or like or just say you know oh I really enjoyed that or I watched it you know um and I as I say I'm not you know I'm not thinking that I'm gonna have loads of fans commenting and saying oh yeah I love this you know but obviously I've got a lot of Facebook friends and I don't know I just don't even get like a like and it makes me a little bit sad but I'm not gonna stop doing it I'm, I'm enjoying doing it and if anything um, you know we get to keep hold of these memories and look back um, but yeah I don't know it's a little bit like tumbleweed <laughs> and the funny thing is I always get really excited on a Monday and I'm looking forward to posting the video and it would just be so nice to have like I don't know, a few notifications popping up, so and so liked your video or so and so commented on your post on Facebook and things like that. And as I say, I'm really not bothered about, you know, being YouTube famous or whatever. I mean, that's ridiculous, but if my friends and family don't even like my videos, then it makes me a bit sad because, you know, it's our, it's our little life. And it would be nice if people um, were a bit more interested, but maybe we're just boring. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe just give me some feedback. You know, if you just think it's boring, then just say a bit boring. But yeah, I don't want to feel deflated. Um, but sometimes I just feel like I have all the friends I have on Facebook, um, just a like or a comment would be so nice. But anyway. I really didn't want to moan, but it was like, like nagging at me, like something was bothering me, but I don't know what it was, but anyway. So on that note, I will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It's Tuesday. Lisa's just rushing, getting ready for work. I've been working nights and I haven't slept since Monday morning. So yeah, I'm very tired, but I've got to take Lulabelle yeah, to her nans now. Hey, Buffo. Hey, gorgeous kitty. Oh, you're so cute. Hey, the wheezy bum. Are you lazy bum? Are you lazy bum? Mm -hmm. Oh, Chris is opening his parcel. What is it, baby? My Hubble. Hubble? Some trial contact lenses, one pound, one pound fish. I use Hubble lenses and they're really good. Ooh. Is they good? Yeah, they fit well. Good. Can can't you see clearly? Can't see cool. Right, I'd complain. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 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 <laughs> hey. Hey. We are going out for dinner now because we are starving. Marvin. Chris has been asleep all day. Not all day. No, but you have. Yeah, I didn't go to sleep till like nearly nine o'clock. Okay. After being awake since eight o'clock the day before. Yeah, I know. Twenty-four-seven. Chris, stop swearing. <laughs> well, you've told me to. So it's no. Just like, what? <laughs> 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 Chris, 
<laughs> Stop swearing. Can't, you've flipped the switch. Um, so yeah, Chris kindly took Luda Bell to my mum's this morning, um, like half seven. Um, so although he'd been in a night, doing a night shift, he took her to my mum's this morning because I'm too lazy to get up and take her to my mum's and get to work at eight o'clock. Mm. Um, so yeah, we're going out for dinner. I'm not sure yet where yet, um, but we're going to use Meerkat Meals. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag half price. Cheaper than half the price. Here's my OOTD. I'm wearing those nice baggy pants that I bought in my little Primark haul. And the little t-shirt that I bought as well. And I'm really happy with this little outfit. I love it. And she's not wearing any knickers. Oh. Let's go. I'm not, to be fair. <laughs> no VPL. Are you wearing knickers? No. Nope. Never been to a beef eater before, and we've got meerkat meals, so we're going to give it a go, aren't we, baby? Sorry? We're going to give it a go, aren't we? We are. I'm still hungry. Beef eater. The menu looks amazing. I don't know where to go for this one. Steak with an onion cluster. Um, what else does it come with? Triple cooked chips, oh my goodness. Or the best ever double short rib and maple glazed bacon burger. What are you going to go for, babes? I don't know. Depends on what you have. It depends on what you have, what I get. If you're going to get a steak, I'll get a steak too. Yeah. But if you're going to get the burger, I'm going to get the burger too. We're not going to get starters today just because we're probably going to get pudding. Cheers, baby. Cheers. I'm on the coke, I've got to work tonight. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't have a beer because you're working tonight. So unless I didn't already say, I did go for the burger, which looks incredible. And Chris went for the mixed grill and then upgraded his steak to a 10 ounce. Is that right? Yeah, it looks delicious, baby. We're just waiting for our mayonnaise and then we're going to dig in. Ooh. That looks amazing. That's an ice cream sundae with brownie and then churros. Warm churros, baby. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> How is it, baby? I'll let you know in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Warm cinnamon brownie. I mean, puree. <laughs> Dope. Uh. Hello. It's 9.30 and Chris has just gone to work for another night shift. And I'm going to get into bed, well I am in bed, and catch up on some Netflix. I've got two things I'm watching at the moment, or that I have been watching, um, and a new series has come out, and one of them is Working Mums, and one of them is The Letdown. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make a start on one of those. So I'll see you later, Good night. Hello. <laughs> I've been terrible today. I actually didn't even say hello this morning. Did you not? Nice. <laughs> And then straight from work, we went to the beach. Um, I met up with my mum and sister and my two nephews, and we had a lovely time. Uh, oh, thank you. We even went in the sea, and it was absolutely amazing. Um, and the waves were huge, because it's a bit windy, and it was just so, so much fun. Um, and I actually took the camera with me, but I left it in the car, so I totally forgot to vlog. Um, however, we have just been to the cinema, Chris and I, um, Lulu's at her dad's and we watched um, The Lion King, which was amazing, and we loved it. And then we just got ourselves some dinner. Next week, that's it, no more. No more McDonald's now. But um, we had to try the new um, spicy chicken nuggets, and then we also had to try the double quarter pounder. And then because we had a little offer on the app, spend 20 pound, get five pound off, we basically bought, um, what do we buy? Uh, cheesy bites. And also a McFlurry. There's so much food, honestly. Let's, should we try a spicy nugget? Yeah. Oh, the quarter pounder, the double quarter pounder does look quite good. We've got spicy tomato dip. Is it spicy? What it says. 
I mean, well, that's for the nugget. <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's what I see. Yeah, where's the rich tomato dip? Yeah, that's for the... Oh my goodness, that's what I was wanting, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> wow, that's spicy. No thanks. Here's our little spicy nugget. Dip it in your sauce. Okay, that's not too bad. Like, it's quite nice. Mm. Anyway, we're gonna go. So we'll see you later. I haven't seen you all week. Your head looks massive compared to mine. Well, yeah, it's full of brains. Well, because apparently you've been really, really lazy, we're going out for dinner again. Hello! So, it is Thursday afternoon. Um, I finished work at 1, came home, got ready, and then Lulabo and I went to um, the Cat Cafe, as you will have seen. Didn't actually do much filming, um, but I was rushing when I got there because I thought we was late, but it turned out it was absolutely fine. Um, did you book an hour slot? So anyway, basically the cat cafe cost us £5 per person um, entry into the cafe, and then that's about an hour slot I think it is, um, and then that's not including any food or drink. Quick like overview, um, I didn't think it was great, we've been before, um, when we went last time, I, could, I think it was a bit better, and it's, that was a couple of years ago now. I refer the cat to Toby Carvery. This is what I'm about to say. So, we went to the cat cafe, and as I say, we got there and we sat down, and it was a bit awkward, like, at first, and a bit quiet, the atmosphere wasn't very good, and... And then everyone left, and it got quieter and nicer. Well, yeah, it did get a bit nicer in the end, didn't it, because it was a bit so quieter. We also bring out another cat called Pumpkin. Yeah. And it was a brother of one called Max, which was a ginger one. Yeah. As you would have seen, right? Uh, yeah, I think I showed all the clips of what we and took. Pumpkin just like sat next to me and I yeah. took him. But I will say, so when we first got there, there was like no cats out there. Like I literally couldn't see any cats and there was actually Except ten altogether. But yeah, they were all asleep and you're not allowed to stroke them if they're asleep, which is funny because all cats do is sleep. Um, you can't pick them up, obviously. We um, asleep. Can't stroke them if they're asleep. And... Obviously, a lot of them are sleeping up high and things like that. So, at first, I was a little bit like, this is a bit awkward. Like, we're here for cats and there's, like, no cats to stroke. So, that's a bit weird. Then, we went out for dinner at the Toby Carvery. And outside the door, where we were, where we were sat, was a little black and white cat. Which I called Oreo. Who gave us so much love and attention. And that was, that was more interaction than we'd had the whole hour at the cat cafe. I honestly can think of when you when you walk past a cat in the street and you stroke them, that was way more interaction than we got with any of the cats at the cat cafe. So, yeah. Oh well, never mind. It was it was okay, but yeah, I probably won't do that again. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy to come home to my kitty because she gives me lots of cuddles. Yeah. Anyway, Lulu's gonna make some slime now, aren't you? Yeah. We're trying to follow a recipe, but my camera's flashing at me, so I'm going to go, and then I'll put a new battery in, and then we'll meet you over at the kitchen. Plus, slime's no glue. Yeah, I was going to tell them that in a minute, but you can tell them that as well in a second. And I'll show you how many ingredients there are. Lula Bell, why are we in Tesco? Because we're buying active slime ingredients, it's raining, and I'm wet. So it's pouring like it. with rain. It's not, it's just, um, just drizzling. We tried to make slime, it didn't work, so I said, you know what? It's, funny, it's quarter to eight in the evening, but I said, let's just go and get some activator from Tesco. And they actually sell, yeah, and shaving foam and food colouring, but they actually sell um, Opturex eye drops, which I'm sure you already know about this, 
But yeah, so we're oh gonna pick God. up some activator and make some actual slime. Hi, so we're back from the shops. We just went to the shops to get this. We already had. Um, we went to get some Optrex. Some Optrex. Got um, some shaving foam. We have two food colourings. You don't really need to read the writing, but you can see the colours are blue and green. And those are going to make my lovely colour turquoise. So here's a bowl. And that's a bowl. Does it stick to the ground? Nope. So, this is our glue. I don't have much to add. Like that. That's perfect. So, we're going to add the shaving foam. Not too much. It's really squeaky. Like, we add that much. So I'll mix the shaving foam in. So now we're mixing the shaving foam with the glue. Um, we're having half a teaspoon of. I'm just going to reach you bicarbonate soda, which is not the same as baking powder. Right, Mummy? Half a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda. So I'm just gonna mix that in quickly. So I got blue and green, so I can make my favorite color turquoise, which is an in betweeny. So we're mixing in the blue right now. Now we should add some green. That's enough for now. It's already looking nice turquoise. Like. So this is Optrex. You can get the smaller version. They have that big, that bigger one, and they have teeny mini ones, which is so cute. It comes with this little measuring cup, which is cute. Just gonna add that entire thing, right? Stiffening up already. Look at that slime already. So yeah, as you can see, it's activated and it is now no longer I'm gonna... sticking to the sides. Is it still quite sticky, is it all right? Yeah, it's a bit sticky, but right, I Right, so we're going to keep stirring it, I reckon. Oh. We don't want to overactivate it, do we? Nope. I want to get the entire thing off. It's too sticky. Good morning, it's Friday. Lisa's currently still in bed, I'm a little lying. She woke up in the middle of the night, didn't have a great night. Um, so yeah, so she's just resting and I am about to make some breakfast. Um, so yeah, take some breakfast in bed, so let's have a look what we got. Got some nice crusty rolls. Some orange juice. And some trusty bacon. You look really pretty to like, like that, Lula Bell. We're going out into town. Lula's got her. What have you got with you, Lou? I've got 
and yeah, my oh, sorry, our generation girl doll. What are you doing? Putting her pants on? Yeah, I forgot the pants. <laughs> Can't go out wearing, not wearing pants, can you? you like did. you did, but when? The other day. I'm not wearing pants, I had to say. Oh, well then. Yeah, but I've got trousers on, not a skirt. <laughs> Lulu went to school with no pants on once, didn't you? I've tried to make, to make her look exactly like me, like striped top. We have no parting with a ponytail button. Cool. Right, let's go then. Yes. Mummy's going to get her new phone. What's well, it on too? Well, hopefully we're going to have a look. I've just ordered my phone on O2. I spoke to O2 on the phone, um, cancelled my contract, but then they managed to um, give me a good deal. So I've currently, I've renewed my contract I've now got 40 gig of data rather than 5 gig um, and of my new phone so it's just arrived in store and I'm going to go pick it up now I'm so excited and hopefully I'm going to try and convince Chris to upgrade his phone because um, we both always have the same phones at the same time um, so yeah hopefully but I wanted mine more so that so I could take um, amazing pictures in Florida because the camera that I'm getting the phone I'm getting has like four cameras or not something stupid um, so yeah, that's mainly the reason why I'm upgrading now. Um, otherwise I'd wait until next year because obviously I'm trying to save money. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to pop into town. So come with us. I've got my new phone. Lulu's eating a millionaire's shortbread from Costa. And we're just waiting for our drinks now, aren't we? Lulu's got strawberry whipped milk. How, does, how is that, Lou? This was cute. It was so weird. It's literally milk, it's but like, whipped. It's like double cream. It is like, yeah. It's cream. super weird. It's mixed with like real strawberries. Let me taste it again. It's so weird. I'm not have this in a long time. Mm, it's like a really weird texture. Then I've got a salted caramel crunch frostino. Looks delicious. Without coffee. Without coffee. So we've been home for a while now. Um, had dinner. So it's new phone day, we're very excited. Um, Chris ended up getting one as well, which is really, really good. Now we both get to unbox our phones together. Yay. Um, so yeah, really, really excited. I haven't had a new phone in about three or four years. Um, so yeah, we are definitely well deserve, deserving of a phone. Well deserving of a phone. Absolutely. So that's Chris's bag. And this is my bag. Right, so I'll just show you what I bought quickly. So I got my phone, but I also got a clear case, and I will tell you why I got a clear case when I open my phone. And I also got a pop socket. It's my first time actually ever getting a real pop socket. Um, I normally just get the really cheap ones from the like little phone shops, the accessory shops. Um, but yeah, I got myself a pop socket. Um, and I've got this colour because again, you will see why. What have I got? I have got... Ooh, why does yours look white. different? It doesn't look Yeah, mine's white. Yeah, because yours is the white one. Oh! <laughs> That'll be white. Let's put them together. Yep, yeah, and then I got... A black silicon case. A silicon case, so it's not too silicon. Awesome. Right. You can open your phone. What best friendships are about. She says, look, it probably does sound more like... Paper, I'm so excited we get a new phone. I know, I've got the headphones as well. Wow. So decent headphones, AKG. So I've got Prism White. So it's almost like an iridescent... Can you kind of see that? Yeah, you can see that now, look. It's like an iridescent... Okay. Oh, it's a bit dark. Hello, good morning, it's Sunday. Um, we're just popping out to B&M. What are we getting from B&M, girls? Um, glue, and are we getting the small mix? Yes, 100%. Um, so we're getting glue to make slime, and then we're getting a s'mores kit, so we can have s'mores for lunch. Yeah, we need to get food coloring, might have to go to Tesco for that, but anyway. So yeah, it's bloody boiling, so we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> So as expected, B&M was absolutely rubbish, uh, but we got what we came for, and that was the glue. Um, didn't have anything for small kits, didn't have any food colouring. Um, well, they did, but it was too runny. It was just, just, I just hate the shop, it's just terrible. Anyway, so yeah, we got our glue, we're going to go to Big Tesco now. So 
So in honour of watching Tim Tracker and Jen's video this morning, um, they're making s'mores because apparently it was National S'mores Day yesterday. Um, so when we were in Tesco we grabbed a few ingredients. Now we don't have graham crackers in England, um, but we've got digestive biscuits, um, Hershey's chocolate and also some American toast and marshmallows. Um, so yeah, we're going to have s'mores for lunch. <laughs> right, come on then girls, I'm making s'mores. <laughs> How's yours? Good. <laughs> Good.